Hi guys, this, this video, video presentation is going to show us how to create placemats that are trapped in each other in polygons and um, be able to take these tracks and export them straight into our GPS receiver. We've done this is waypoints, so we're going to do with tracks. It's a bit of a different, different process here. So I would like I would love everybody to like pay attention. Now you open your Google Earth, your Google Earth, and in Google Earth here we have found a place in the city of Ibadan. It's an open field. What we intend to do is to be to create this place mark or this track here, this polygon, and be able to take these details and put it right into our GPS so we can come back and walk on the ground. So I simply start here by adding polygon. That's my add polygon sign there. It brings out this cursor and I begin to walk as if I'm digitizing and I'm tracing. So I'm tracing the outline of the open field. As you can see here, just keep the left click. Just keep going. You just need this part of the field. We ignore the more rectangular one. So yeah. So when we double click at the end, when we double click, we raise our dialog box. And we're filling in details. So we're, we're going, going to call this place open field. And um, there are other options that you can add the link, you can add image if you want. So usually in Google Google Earth, you add images online from your online source. So if you don't want this just okay and you see immediately see your wing if you place this window you will see that the open field polygon has been created in places so the issue with this basically we leave this and go to our intermediary dna gps again we open dna gps we go to file this time we say load from but instead of saying file we go to google earth and see my places you want to be using this 6.0 version to be able to have this facility so in google earth my places you see we have gps device passes around waypoints and layer so here we simply see add what we want to do here is to add a database type. So our database type is going to be Google Key Oma Core Language KML. Our connection name will be Open Field. Our database path will go straight back to where we stored our KML file, which is Open Field. Let's go. Um, oh. Because we have to go back, sorry, and then you my Google Earth. We will not save place as so we must save place as here. We save it as open field km KML. We save once we've done that, we come back to our database of our general gami open field. We direct the part again, and this time open field is there. We open and our, our connection, connection string is from we text the connection, connection. Yes, connection is successful then we we'll okay immediately you do this on your layers you see open field so, so you click on open, open field and say okay it is say ask for the description and name the description if you look at this table here is just your identity it's going to mark what kind of what, what name you are going to give that particular feature the, the type is already track which is um, fixed so we just say name and okay so you see open field is here it has loaded it as a kml remember this is still in the kml so the next thing we do is to go to the file we will save this place to the game which is time i see there's no option on google so we have to save it as a file we save file we call it open field 
and come here and change the format to GPS exchange format. Yeah, and save. So it will ask us is it waypoints, is it tracks and rules, tracks of course. You say okay. So it is saved here now. So the simple thing we're going to do is what we've done in the past. We go to track here and we upload the way we did for the G yeah, waypoints. Upload. We call this open field and we say okay. Once you say okay, it tells us upload complete track points, save 29 points that mix up the track. Okay, so this is how we this is how we create polygon features on our google earth image or our google satellite image be able to convert it and convert it using dnr gps into a track for feature that can go into our gps in gps exchange format thanks for listening and please send in your comments